Welcome back everyone, I am the Executioner and today we're going to talk about the Kyle Rittenhouse verdict. Kyle Rittenhouse was found not guilty on all charges today. And I think that's good because not only was he on trial, but every American who owns a gun was on trial in that instance. A clear case of self-defense was brought to this court and the prosecution tried every step of the way to erode the right to self-defense. To me, this is an example of a trial that will go down in history, just like the trials of the Supreme Court deciding the individual right to bear arms is indeed in the Constitution. This trial definitely shows that there is an inherent right to self-defense. The videos, all the videos show that Kyle was within his rights to defend himself. And the prosecution was dishonest every step of the way, not even providing the same copy of the video, the drone video, to the defense, which I may add is a Brady violation. The fact is, Kyle shouldn't have been charged in the first place. This was a clear case of self-defense, and any detective with worth his soul would know this was self-defense and would have never brought this to trial, but here we are now. And the result of a not guilty verdict is a rare exception in our justice system of where the jury decided to do the right thing. The four days this verdict was decided were very tense days because not only was the jury being intimidated, but the judge and everybody involved here. The left made it clear at every step of the way that they would try to burn down cities if they did not get the verdict they wanted. However, the jury did not give in to that fear, which is very admirable. Anyone who has two brain cells knows that this was self-defense, and anyone with any shred of integrity would know this is a case where we have to do the right thing here. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to talk about this. I think this is a good verdict and a good precedent for things to come. And I think that everything involved, the investigation, the amateur investigation, along with the work of many individuals, has gone to proven that Kyle Rittenhouse is indeed not guilty. I hope you guys liked the video. Please share and subscribe. Click the bell to be notified. And remember, everyone, to stay free.